Hi friends, welcome to science lesson. Last week we have learned about one of natural disasters, earthquake. And today we are going to learn about flow. Do you know what is flow? Flood is a natural disaster that occurs when water soaks or overflow normally dry land. Flooding can also occur suddenly or gradually. I have a video that will explain how and why flooding can happen. Let's watch it together! Floods are one of the most common natural disasters, but they are also some of the most destructive and deadly. It only takes 15 centimetres of water to knock a human down and just 60 centimetres can move a car. Floods occur when excess water has nowhere to go. They are worse when the area doesn't have proper drains, but even advanced stormwater systems can be overwhelmed by a lot of rain in a short amount of time. Regions that are recovering from drought are even less able to cope with massive rains even though it's just what they need. The ground is too dry to absorb the water. While floods can damage buildings and roads, cause blackouts and destroy crops, one of the biggest dangers they pose is the spread of disease. Not only can floodwaters disrupt water supplies, but none of the megalitres can be drunk. Dirty water and a lack of sanitation can lead to the rapid spread of influenza, gastro or meningitis, as well as potentially fatal outbreaks of cholera and dysentery. Large pools of stagnant water are also the perfect breeding ground for mosquitoes, which pose yet another health threat. Floods rarely get attention, but the waters can bring disease and great loss with them. So friends, based on that video, the flooding has some effects. The primary effects are property loss and the loss of life. And the secondary effects are the loss of drinking water treatment and water supply, increases the risk of contagious waterborne disease and making the land unusable and preventing crops harvesting or planting. land and farm animals. Now, let's imagine that this bottle is a river. So, when it rains, the water can flow down to the lower lands until it reaches the sea. But what will happen if we throw the trash carelessly into the river? Can the rainwater flow smoothly? Yup, it cannot. Now, do you want to try this experiment with your friends and teacher? Okay, have fun and see you next week, friends. Bye!